You got some data from the system and you need to build an org chart. Now I'm opening my eyes like this because I see a lot of you using those boxes in Excel. Well, let me show you a better way with AI that will do the same job in no time. Let's go. The first thing that we're going to do is go to the website. So the link is in the description of this video. You can just copy paste it like I'm doing. Press enter and you get a site like this one. You can see on the right side they are showing you how to create an org chart. And it looks pretty good, right? Now, you can sign up. It's super easy. I'm not going to waste your time with this. This is simple. What I want to show you is the pricing. So I'm just going to go here. At the time of recording, you have a $0 option, a $20 per month, and then you have custom. Now, if you look at the $0, you have trial of 100 AI messages and then $20 per month. And this is a lot. Let me give you a tip. First of all, with one message, you can create one org chart. And whatever customization you make in the org chart, it's not going to consume other messages. The other thing is, let's assume that you have three departments and they are reporting to the same person. So instead of using three messages and creating three org charts, what you can do is create one org chart for the whole thing and then you can filter and generate the other ones. And all this will take only one message. I'm going to show you all this in the demo. So for now, we're just going to go back and I'm going to sign in. We are in and we get something like this. So what I'm going to do is create a new file. Here you have your files and you can see if I go to create new, you have file. You will get something like an Excel file. And this is super simple. This is, for example, my data set. If you want it, also you can download it. The link is in the description and you have the name of the people. And then you have the relationships. Obviously, those are not love relationships. Those are the work ones. So for example, John reports to Kendall, Jane also, David reports to John, etc. And you have the titles. Now I can copy this. So Control C and I go here and paste it with Control V or I can upload. Let me show you the upload option. Here you have the name of the file. I'm just going to double click and you get the info automatically here. Perfect. Now you can confirm the range A1 to C13, which is correct. This is A1 to C13. So we confirm. And now we need one prompt. You can see that I have 96 messages left. So I'm just going to say, I want to create an org chart from the data with pics. And you can see it understands data. So it will color it in another color. That's about it. You just click. It will start explaining to you what it is doing. I'm not going to read it. And there you go. You get your org chart. You see how it is fast and crazy. You have everything. You can see, for example, if you go here, we click on the right and we see the rest. We can also go down and we see Nancy, etc. And if you don't like this template, don't worry. What you can do is once you select your chart, here you have canvas and you have some other templates. For example, I can choose one of those. Let me see what I like. We just go back here and we can see everybody. Same thing. And now that you have the template, you can directly download it as simple as this. We have export. You can download it as an image or a PDF. I'm just going to select PDF. Let's go to my download. And you can see this is the org chart. You can directly send it to the required people. See how easy and fast it is, but this is not the only thing. I will show you there are so many things you can customize. If we go back, the first thing I want to do is change the name. For example, this is not David Brown. It's actually David James. So what can I do? I can change the name here so I can double click, then click inside and I can change something. For example, I'm not going to change here. I'm just going to go to data. You can see your data set. We're just going to find David, double click. And here, for example, we change it to James. Press enter. Go back to your org chart. This is David James. If you want to do it from here, just double click David Brown. Click somewhere else. Go to your data, David Brown. Super simple. You can also add more stuff. So for example, if I come here, it's like an Excel file insert. Insert row above, below, etc. And assume that... I want to add a trainee. So I can add it at the bottom. Here, for example, we can call it vacant because we don't have a person yet. Reports to, 
let's find somebody. For example, we can report to Mike Johnson or John Smith. Let's take John Smith. So I'm just typing John Smith. By the way, we can close this. And if we go here, we can say trainee. Let's just click outside, see what happens. And you can see the vacancy directly in the org chart. Cool, right? And now if I want to change the coloring of this box, you can do it for anything. You just click on it and you can go here. First of all, you can change the shape. For example, if I don't like the shape, I can make it a rectangle. For example, if I go here, I can change the color because I want to highlight it. And if I want, for example, to change the color of the border, I can also do this. The other thing that you could do is add pictures to the people. Yes, you can do this. Now it looks a little bit sad. There is nobody. But to do this, we just go back to data and here you have image. So for example, if I click here, I double click, I can either drag and drop an image or browse. So let's just browse and go here. You see, I have my funny pictures. For example, this is the first one. I'm just going to double click on it or just select it. And you can see it is just uploading it. A few moments later. With my image now, it's there. I'm going to do all the other ones off camera, obviously, so I don't bore you. It's the same concept. You just double click, drag, or either select the image. Once you do all this, don't worry if some of them you can see them, some of them you can't. It's not a problem. Just go back to your org chart and you can see you have all the images now. It looks much nicer and obviously you can export it. Now here is the cool part. I want to create, for example, an org chart only for the leadership. So I want the CEO and the three VPs. I don't need to use another set of data, create another org chart. You don't need all this. What you can do is just go to data and you filter like an Excel table. So Kendall doesn't report to anybody because it's the CEO and the other ones, they report to the CEO. So if I go here, I can select blank and then I can select Kendall. Apply. And now we go back. We have our org chart. And again, if you want, you go and you download it. Now I can do a lot of things on the chart. So for example, I have style here. We saw it. If we go, we can add, for example, something like this. If we see it's there, I can even drag it. So I can just drag this here and have the org chart next to it. If I don't want to, obviously I can just click on it and delete. That's fine. I can change the font, all these kind of things. If I don't want this piece in the canvas, or I just want to make it, let's say, much more smaller, let's delete this piece and just move this like this. We can add something else. We can add an image, a table, a text, whatever you want. If I just come back and add this, I can just move it, move this here. There we go. I can change, for example, this and say leadership. Remove everything else. Company one, very creative name, as you can see. And we have the whole thing. We adjust, we're fine. If we can see, you have the other options here, chart, tables, etc. And if I click on one of those things, again, you have the whole styling that you can change, the font, etc. Once you are done, you can share this. So if I click on share, I can add people. So if I add, for example, the email address of the person and invite, the person will get access to this dashboard. I don't need to download it and send it to the person. You can also copy the link and give it to somebody or export to PDF. And you can also publish this. So many options you have. You can also present. You can see this presentation. It looks neat, no? One more feature I wanted to show you, and I forget to show you this one, is that you can insert something here, for example, like a text. And if we write something, the man, for example, we can just move it. And the problem, if I move candle, the man is still there, right? So what I can do, if I just do control Z, I can just press on control, select both things, right click, and you can group. So now if you move candle, everything will move at the same time.